Here in Ohio, our toilet trucks have the optional access hole in the sides of the bed. So that way, you can easily check the condition of the frame. Yep, looks horrible. No state inspections here, but you'll get a ticket for dark window tent. Last week, I got this abandoned 1987 Toyota pickup running and dragged it out of the trees for a quick walk around. It runs great, but it was absolutely disgusting inside, completely infested with mice. It smelled so bad, my cat wouldn't even have anything to do with it. Today I'll be testing the structural integrity of the frame using a scientific method called the hammer test. But first, I rolled the truck back outside for a quick bath, starting with this filthy engine bay. All right, she's all cleaned up and dried off. It actually looks a lot better now, aside from the rust. The bed sides are toast, but the inside of the bed actually isn't too bad. The floor mats reeked of mice, so I took them out of the cab. The interior still smells pretty bad. It still stinks in the glove box from that massive mouse nest. All that uh, white powder, it looks like somebody busted open a brick of cocaine in here. That's actually this um, Arm & Hammer Litter Deodorizer. Just give it some sprinkles inside and it helps a lot with the smell. Nice rust hole in the A-pillar. But let's get on with the hammer test and test the durability of a rusty Ohio frame. So far, so good. A little soft there, but it didn't go through. Front's decent. Let's check the back. Uh oh, look at all that debris in there. I went over the whole debris problem in the frame repair video. I'll have a link to that one in the description. Not good, but let's check the driver's side. It definitely looks worse on the surface. Oh, there it is. Took out the lower and inner sides at the same time. Yeah, this frame is pretty done. It's so thin from rust. Well, folks, looks like part out it is. The front doesn't look horrible, unless you're from the Southwest. I think my 86 one ton might have been worse. Steering box leaks, trying to save itself from rusting. But there's no point in saving anything under here for my next Yoda project. I'll definitely pull the engine though and trans, and the interior. So unfortunately, another Toyota truck bites the dust thanks to Ohio road salt. But that's all right because its good parts will go to keep other trucks on the road. And in the next video, I'll be parting out this truck from start to finish, pulling all good usable parts. 
So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hey, there's a link to my store in the description where you'll find all kinds of rad Yoda merchandise like shirts, hoodies, posters, phone cases, and a lot more. Thanks to everyone out there who supports the channel. It really means a lot to me to see people wearing something I designed.